Right now, it's my pleasure to present the Simon Benson Award for Alumni Achievement to Bill Stoller. We are proud to call Bill one of our own. He earned his master's degree in business administration from Portland State in 1979. His roots are in family farming in Dayton, Oregon. He's a serial entrepreneur and has developed numerous successful businesses, both in human resource franchising and as a vintner. His career began in 1973 with Acme Personnel Services, and 10 years later, he co-founded Express Employment Professionals, building it into an international staffing company with more than 600 franchises. Bill also has the distinction of being the only Yamhill County native to be a first-generation wine principal. In 1993, he purchased a family turkey farm and transformed it into Stoller Family Estate, an award-winning winery. Stoller was the first winery in the world to be certified LEED Gold. We're delighted to serve Stoller Estate wine this evening in honor of Bill. And he plays as hard as he works. Bill has run the Hood to Coast Relay not once, not twice, but 20 times. And he has played basketball in four World Masters games. He's joined tonight by the woman who captured his heart, LaRue Switzer, and by his four children, Jason, Jenny, Ken, and Kyle. Bill also has four grandchildren. The video we're about to see offers us a glimpse into the exceptional work of Bill Stoller. He's a family man that is very attached to the people that he loves and cares about, family and friends. He's an entrepreneur, and he has proven that by two very successful businesses in his life. Most people can only boast one of those. I think that Bill is somebody that believes that a building is four walls, but what matters are the people that reside within it. He came from a, a farming family, uh, and he decided that he was going to go to college, and he was going to get his degree, and then, you know, from there he took his responsibility into his own hands. And uh, he just, I think from that, he just wants to help other people succeed. He's driven, he wants to do something, he does it, and he succeeds in it. Bill is a very um, self-disciplined, humble individual. He's very unassuming. He is very committed to whatever goal he's attaining, and whether that's in his family, or personally, or in his business. And I've watched him, he, he'll set a goal, and he will not change course until he gets to that goal, and it's a real strength. Bill is a very successful entrepreneur, created a very successful business, and uh, he's a great businessman. We look for uh, successful business people who represent the economy here to serve on our advisory council. He had this vision, uh, this vision of taking personnel services, staffing services to another level, and he was able to implement that vision to the point that right now it's an enormous and highly successful, highly respected corporation. His dedication to Portland State and his loyalty and the way he kind of embraces everything I think is just part of who he is and how his business is run and I think a lot of the reasons why he has been successful is he's worked with organizations such as PSU and professionals and grown with them. I think one of uh, Bill's best attributes as a leader is he's able to empower others and he, he, he does that uh, in, his, in his family, he, he empowers his children to achieve, he does that in, in his business, and he, he really puts people in positions and empowers them to be successful and then he supports that effort. And then with his friends, I mean he uh, helps his friends uh, by coming alongside them in whatever issues they're facing. I think Bill expects a lot of all of us that he loves and cares about, and he sets high standards. But I think we're always better for it. Bill has become the best that he can be, 
and I think he expects that of the rest of us. He's been so driven to succeed in whatever he does, it just gets to the point where, you know, it rubs off on you, but like, it doesn't really matter what you're doing, you try to do your best to, to see it through as best as you can. I think when we were growing up, he always said, was it honesty and responsibility? And everything else will fall in line. Please join me in congratulating Bill Stoller, recipient of the 2013 Simon Benson Award for Alumni Achievement. Bill, please join me right here. Thank you. And that was very, very nice, very, very nice of Portland State. Uh, throughout all of this, uh, when it was first announced, they've just been just terrific. Uh, thank all of you for coming tonight. Uh, it's a fabulous evening, and, and you are the ones that have certainly made it very successful. Uh, thank, or congratulations to Rick and Erica uh, on their award, and also for having so many of your friends come tonight. Uh, it was a great achievement to have them here. <laughs> um, Mr. Cooper, it's great to have you here tonight, and uh, I'm, we're looking forward to your remarks. Um, not too many people know this, but I had two entrants into uh, Portland State University. The first one is when I was a junior, senior in high school, and I volunteered to be the sports writer for our school newspaper, which really ended up being the town newspaper of Dayton probably had 25 subscriptions, but um, Portland State hosted a, a high school journalism um, seminar class, and uh, I took part in that. And uh, then, of course, I did my stint as that sports writer, and you're so lucky that I chose, through that experience, not to get into that field. Can you imagine me being a sports writer for the Oregonian or, or whomever? Um, the second... Uh, entrance into Portland State really began in 1994. Uh, after graduating from Pacific University, I needed to take a, another class in order to uh, enter the MBA program in 1995, and I did that. And I, I tell you, uh, I bet I'm the only person that Portland State that's ever had that it took four years to graduate because I took one class a term uh, in order to do it because I was working full time and it took me a little bit longer to, uh, to get my work done, I guess. But when I look back upon my experience at Portland State, I can't help but think about the professors I had, what I learned from them, as well as the, the students I went to school with. And I met another one tonight who I've known for many years. Um, I remember one time going to his house, and we stayed up all night doing a term paper together because we were on a team. And I certainly remember uh, many of those professors, and in fact, two of those in the last couple years have been out to the winery wine tasting with friends. As I reflect over my 40 years in business, I think of two things that, that I'd like to pass on that, that Portland State helped me with, as well as other factors in my life. One is just because others fail, that doesn't mean you have to fail or not to succeed following their footsteps. That's happened in many of my instances where companies have failed, but then you're able to take on and build it from there. Yes, you do have to have change, and you do have to make change in order to make that successful. The second thing is you have to build a sustainable business, and one of those is what our father taught us, that he used to save money and he paid for his tractors. Um, and he would have very little debt, and I think that is very important in sustaining your business. The second is your people are your business, and the people that I've had the pleasure of working with, whether it's here in Portland or Oklahoma City or elsewhere or the franchisees around the country, they are the ones that make our company the greatest, and I thank them very, very much. 
Finally, this really ends up being all about the students. This is what all of what you contribute to Portland State, what everyone else contributes to Portland State is the students, and we honor them tonight. Thank them for all of their efforts as well. Thank you again.